The formula for the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. And that's a good one to remember. So to help you remember it, I'm going to show you where that formula comes from. Now you probably already know the formula for the area of a rectangle, and that would be the length times the width. But we could also think about this rectangle as having uh, a base and a height. It's just another way to refer to the length and the width. This is the base of the rectangle down here. Here's the height along the side. So then the formula for the area of a rectangle would be the base times the height. Well, one cool thing about a rectangle is that if you cut it into diagonally, at least if you cut it straight, you get two absolutely identical triangles. So those are exactly the same triangle. They have the same sides. Let's put it this way. They have the same area. And each one of those triangles is exactly half of that rectangle. So the formula for the area of that triangle would be one half times the base times the height. That's one way to be thinking about that, and hopefully it'll help you remember the formula. Now these are right triangles you get when you cut a rectangle apart. And not all triangles are right triangles. So let me show you how this actually works with a triangle that's not a right triangle. These are two triangles that are absolutely identical. And um, we'll call this the base down here, and we'll make this the height. Since it's not a right triangle, the height isn't just one of the sides. It's, uh, the height comes from the, the corner or the vertex at the top and down to the base where it forms a right angle. So that's the height. If I snip this triangle along the height, <clears throat> let's see, and if I put this together the right way, what I get is a rectangle again. And the rectangle has a base, that's the base of the original triangle, and it has a height, that is the height of the original triangle, and it's made up of two identical triangles. So you can see from that again, that this formula, one half times the base times the height, works. This will work for any triangle. Uh, you can go ahead and try it yourself if you want. All right, let's look at a couple of problems. The first one says, find the area of the triangle. Dimensions are in yards, and it gives you this diagram with a base of 20 and a height here. They did the dashed line dropped from the top vertex down to the base of 7. So we've got our formula, 1 half base times height, and we're just going to plug in our numbers. So we've got 1 half times the base, which is 20, times the height, which is 7. And you can plug that into your calculator. You can type in 0.5 times 20 times 7. Or when you, know, when you multiply something by 1 half, it's the same thing as dividing it by 2. So you could type in 20 times 7 divided by 2. Either way, you're going to get 70. And then we have to get our units here. It says yards, but when we do area, we're doing square units, so this is going to be square yards. And here's another problem, and it's pretty much the same, except in this case we have a right triangle. And the thing about the right triangle is that the height of the triangle is going to be one of the sides here. So we'll use the same formula again, 1 half times base times height. And in this case, the base is 20, so 1 half times 20 times, and the height is going to be 15 here. And if you plug that into your calculator, 0.5 times 20 times 15, you're going to get 150. And then the units, it says, are meters, so that would be square meters. And that's how to figure the area of a triangle.